Hey guys, it's Kevin Krautsack from wellnessmashup.com and I really just want to sh take a minute to show you how awesome it is to have your own garden. And I basically, I only have a small garden here, but the amount of food that you get out of such a small spot is really amazing. And let me try to flip the camera right here. I guess it's a little too late. So I have numerous tomatoes coming in, tons of stuff, I have some herbs, a little bit of cucumbers. And the cu cucumbers are a little disappointing. They kind of got cooked out here. But you can see, you can see all these beautiful tomatoes out here. And there's tons of stuff. And I literally picked everything that was ripe yesterday. And I got about three four, or four bowls of different fruits, um, you know, tomatoes and vegetables. And so it's kind of funny because I literally just got back in the country from Costa Rica. And so I've been gone for three weeks. And this stuff just keeps growing, keeps growing, keeps growing. And a lot of people make it, you know, seem like it's hard. You kind of got to know what you're doing. Um, I actually put these box kits in. Super easy, Home Depot. This whole project probably cost $300, which is a little much, but I probably made at least $75 back in tomatoes already, and this will last me for quite a while. These kits you can actually break down, um, and I could, I could bring this anywhere. So it really is amazing. We have some of these beautiful tomatoes. These heirloom varieties taste amazing, better than anything you'll find in any of the typical stores like Walmart or Kroger. I actually just uh, checked out some heirloom tomatoes at uh, Whole Foods the other day. I mean, they were close to four or five dollars and you only get a small little amount. So for each of these plants, I probably cost probably cost maybe two dollars for each of these plants I think I got them on sale from maybe three or four at Home Depot planted them a few of them died but I still got tons and tons out of it so I would definitely recommend you look into planting a small garden you got to get creative with it uh, it's a little harder if you have an apartment obviously you need to have, if you have an apartment you're gonna need some kind of you know balcony or something that's facing the sun they obviously they need sun and some good water um, but other than that I mean if you have a little house like I do you're renting something like that you can easily get these raised beds put them in you can use cinder blocks you can you know basically get creative with it and create some awesome food it'll not only save you money and time but this stuff just tastes amazing great nutrition and you can really get a lot out of it so I definitely recommend you do that.